Rabbits, for instance, are born in great numbers. A whopping 70,000 puppies and kittens are born every day in America. On the other hand, many creatures reproduce at a much slower rate compared to others. These are animals that are born only once in a thousand years. Number 1. Octagoat. You have got to be kidding me in this one. Is it a spider? An octopus? Perhaps it's a squid? No, it's, it's an octagoat. When a goat would give birth to a kid with eight legs in a village in India, it surprised the locals who flocked to see the thing, calling it an animal miracle. Animal experts have weighed in on the once in a blue moon event, stating that this unusual number of legs was actually caused by an altered gene or perhaps a mutation. And although it's very rare, it has happened before. In 2014, a baby goat was born in Croatia with eight legs. And on that particular occasion, vets would examine the little animal deciding that the extra legs were the result of a conjoining with an underdeveloped twin in utero. So, there's every chance that it was a similar kind of thing with the octagoat in India. Sadly, however, these special animals that are born with unusual bodies have less chance of survival as they grow. So, let's hope this little leggy one was one of the lucky ones. Number 2. Two-Headed Snake When two environmental scientists who were both named Dave found an incredibly rare two-headed snake in the forests of New Jersey, the most obvious thing to do was name the unusual thing Double Dave. Oh, and then they had a look at it to try and understand how it happened, of course. Turns out that Double Dave is a newborn timber rattlesnake, which is venomous and a pit viper, and the snake had two fully formed heads, which is unusual, because often when snakes are born with two heads, one of their heads is usually smaller and not complete. Double Dave, however, had a fully equipped twin set of heads, both with eyes and a mouth and a tongue in each. Weird. This condition is known as polycephaly, and it's a similar kind of thing as to what happens when conjoined twins are formed. The embryo begins to split like when twins develop, but then stops before it's completely divided. It's really difficult for snakes with this condition to survive in the wild. They're easy prey for all kinds of predators as they're slow moving, perhaps because they can't decide which way to go. Anyways, all jokes aside, the snakes are also known to actually fight each other. The two heads believe as if they're actually separate and in competition for food. It's been even known that one head will actually kill the other in an effort to win the fight. Number 3. The Human-Faced Goat When a little black goat would be born in India, some people saw the face of a human in the baby animal. Its unusual appearance created quite a stir with some people even taking to worshipping it as an incarnation of a god. It's true that the goat did have a face unlike any other goat, with kind of a flattened appearance. And I guess if you maybe, squint a little bit, stand on your head and look at it sideways, you could say that it was a little bit humanish. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. The condition that causes these kinds of facial features is called cyclopia. It often results in a complete lack of a nose and eyes that have not moved into their usual position on the face, sometimes making the appearance of one large central eye, like a cyclops. In animals, it's most likely caused by an unsuspecting pregnant animal that grazes on a plant that contains a toxin called cyclovamin. The toxin prevents the brain from developing properly in unborn fetuses, causing the unusual facial features that the little goat would be born with. Sadly, this condition is usually fatal and most babies and animals that develop the condition in utero don't survive long enough to even be born. Number 4. The Albino Alligator An albino alligator is one of the rarest creatures you can find. There are only about an estimated hundred of them in the whole world. Albinism is a rare condition that can occur in any living, being resulting in the body, being unable to produce melanin. The stuff that gives your skin and other parts of your body its color and albino alligator look as though it has pink eyes, but this is really because the eyes themselves have no pigment as well. So it's actually the blood vessels showing through that give them the pink color. These rare creatures are seldom seen in the wild. The condition means that they find it difficult to camouflage their natural environment, which makes a young albino alligator very vulnerable, and often they don't see their way into adulthood. Also, they're a prize trophy amongst many alligator hunters. So, for one to survive, takes a miracle all in itself. This is why albino alligators are more likely to be seen in captivity where they're protected from predators and humans alike. That way they can survive long enough to reach maturity. There's also another condition that affects alligators to make them appear white. It's called leucism, a condition that results in a lack of pigmentation, although there is a little in patches, and most strikingly in bright blue eyes. 
Special or unusual creatures are often shrouded in mythology and spookiness with some people believing that if you look into an out albino alligator's eyes, it's going to bring you good luck. Number 5. One-Eyed Albino Shark Now there's something distinctly fishy about this one. Indonesian fishermen hauled in a shark that they say was accidentally caught in their net, which is rather whiffy of an explanation if you ask me. Anyway, they were surprised to discover that the shark actually had three babies inside, and one of these baby shark do was completely white and had one eye in the middle of its head like a cyclops. Well, we've seen creatures like this before, haven't we? The baby shark was most likely albino, and that would cause the lack of pigment, and its unusual eye was probably the result of cyclopia, its development not allowing the complete forming of its facial features. The saddest part of it all is that the baby sharks would have been still developing when the mother was caught, and they were removed. So, although the one-eyed shark is definitely interesting, none of these baby sharks had the chance to do 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 do. Although, there are examples of other albino sharks and also cyclops baby sharks discovered in very similar circumstances. There's just something about this one that all seems a little bit made made up. What do you think? It's definitely a way to draw attention to yourself. But then there are those awkward questions about the circumstances in which this one-eyed albino shark came into your hands. It smells a bit reminiscent of haddock, but perhaps I'm just an old cynic. Number 6. Two-Faced Cats Two-Faced Cats No, not that kind that say mean things about you behind your back. These kitties? Well, they literally have two faces on one cat. We've seen some two-headed creatures so far on our journey. The weird scape of unusual animals, and this type of mutation is a little bit different from the old double-headed snake, or possibly even two-snouted pig. Scientists believe that the condition is caused by genetic issues, but it's still an area where little is fully understood and much remains a mystery. These two-faced cats are actually incredibly rare, and where they do exist, they often don't make it much longer than a day or two on Earth. They're often abandoned, or even killed by their mother. So these remarkable kittens usually need to be hand-reared by humans, and this can be a lot of work, known as a Janus cat. Janus was a Roman god with two faces. The most famous of these felines was Frank and Louis, and Frank and Louis lived to be an incredible 15 years old. In 2020, a kitten with two faces was born in Oregon, named Biscuits and Gravy, and this little kitten has been taken into the family being hand-reared by its owners, and they're hoping that their round-the-clock care will give the kitten a better chance at a long life. That's two hungry little mouths to feed. Number 7. Pink Grasshopper Barbie designed a grasshopper. This is probably how it would turn out, but however, this is actually a real grasshopper just hopping around being itself. As rare as hen's teeth, these pink grasshoppers are hardly ever seen. Scientists believe that the pink grasshopper rarely reaches maturity, and the bright pink color makes the insects really stand out against the green shades of leaves and grasses, putting them at a much bigger risk of being spotted by ultimately eaten by potential predators, even the more short-sighted ones. The usual camouflage of grasshoppers to blend in with mostly grass and other plant environments is what allows them to live relatively safely. If they start going around drawing attention to themselves, they're going to be noticed, and that usually spells trouble for an animal on the lower part of the food chain. So, rare are the pink versions of these insects that it's not properly even understood why they're such a fetching shade of fuchsia. One theory is that these particular grasshoppers develop their color from living in fields of flowers, where they of course are able to blend in better amongst the brighter colors. And if you do happen to set your eyes upon one of these blushing bugs, you'll be among a few who were chosen to witness such a rare sight and maybe you should go play the lottery because that's one lucky thing to happen. With many of these wild and unusual discoveries, more likely to be found in a Ripley's Believe It or Not attraction. What do you think about them? Do you believe it or not? Let me know in the comments below. Also check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.